Hi there! Today I have prepared three useful image editing tricks for Capture One. You will learn how to use clarity to smooth out the background and focus the viewer's attention on the main subject. You will see how to use color balance with a radial gradient to enhance the sense of depth and dimension in your image. Finally, I will show you the optimal way to adjust hue and saturation in color balance. All these tricks come from my new book Capture One Best Practices. It's written in the same style as my first book with short chapters and lots of illustrations, simply because that format gives you the most knowledge for every minute you spend reading. You can read it on any device, including laptops, tablets and phones. The full book contains over 300 professional Capture One tricks and image editing techniques. It also includes 10 bonus materials such as unique styles and tools. Feel free to download sample chapters at alexandra.com slash best. For a limited time, you can get the new book with a 30% early bird discount. Ok, now for the tricks. First, let's see how to use negative clarity to soften the background and reduce distracting details and textures like in this image. So, I'm going to quickly create an AI background mask. Yep, like this. Now, let's apply negative clarity. As you can see, this allows us to focus on the main subject. Just be careful not to use too much negative clarity, as it can start to look a little unnatural. Next, let's see how you can enhance the sense of depth and dimension in your image using color balance and a radial gradient. First, draw a large radial mask with soft edges. This will allow you to apply color toning to the center of the image, while gently blending it into the edges of the image. Now, use color balance to warm the midtones by shifting them toward yellow or orange. You can also cool the shadows by turning them into blues. And cooling the highlights a bit will also help add dimension. This technique is great for adding depth to landscapes, portraits and other scenes where you want to enhance the sense of three-dimensional space. Speaking of color balance, a smart way to find the optimal color balance adjustments is to separate the selection of a hue from the adjustment of its saturation. So, instead of picking a final color, begin by dragging the color picker to the edge of the color wheel. With the color at 100% saturation, pick the hue you want to use for your color grading. This allows you to focus on the color itself without worrying about the strength of the effect. Next, move the saturation slider all the way down to completely neutralize the effect. Now you can slowly increase the slider to get just the right amount of saturation. If you enjoy such short and informative tutorials, I guarantee you will have fun and learn new tricks by reading Capture One Best Practices. So, go to alexandra.com slash best and download your free chapters.